all right guys so that's going to do it on this video i feel like it took me a while to get there but i've got this place in a safe condition uh trying to figure out what happened as i went uh next time i'll be a little quicker in determining what what went wrong you know i'll simply look for a relief valve on a closed loop system if they don't have it or a pressure tank that's obviously the source of the problem but this this was twofold i mean the fact that they had 90 psi in the house and sometimes it gets way over that um is a problem so i've got this thing set at like 57 psi and uh, he should be good he shouldn't notice a huge difference in like taking showers and stuff but man you don't want ball cocks under fucking 90 or 100 pounds of pressure um so i think that you know i did him right uh he's gonna have to pay for that and uh i learned some lessons on it like i said i started out new construction and did that the vast majority of my time was new construction i just started doing service in the last few years so uh trying to apply the same principles that i used in new construction trying to do a good job uh the best that i can and always have the customers uh best interest that in in mind not my own you know what i mean anyways have a great day guys thanks for watching hi here i'm at this house down here in the water this guy's got a cold all mowing three posi temp cartridges that are shot a tub spout diverter spout that's not working uh and a cold lavatory valve that's not working. So I need to get some, uh, oh. I need to get some cartridges in my box. Somebody commented yesterday on one of my videos about how many cartridges I put in. And yeah, they're big business down here for some reason. So this is my mowing box that I, I won in a raffle online. That, that's the only one I ever entered and I won, so I'm not bitching. Anyways, I just need to make sure I have three posi temp cartridges in here. I've got the lav cartridges. Uh, constantly have to clean this box out, man, because I throw a bunch of shit in here. So this guy was really hesitant i told him i would be recording and he said well you know i don't really want you to and i was like hey, that's fine you know and i told him i said hey i gotta he lives on the water and uh yeah i've got a lot of cartridges I'll take three of these guys and uh so I told him, he said, you know, if, if all you're going to be doing is a video, you know, you doing the job. He said, I don't, I don't really have a problem with that. And I told him, I said, hey, you know, I don't, no offense, but you're just not that interesting, pal. You know, it ain't about you. And uh, so he's going to let me take. And then I realized he owned a boat. And I told him that I was running a special uh, this month. And it just so happened to be exactly what he needs. I said, I'm running a special 
three posi temp cartridges, a lavatory cartridge, and a top spout. Imagine that. <laughs> Just can't make that shit up. And he said, well, how much do you, do you get for it? I said, a boat, your boat. And he and his wife stood there and looked at me dumbfounded. That's the typical response I get when I crack a fucking joke. So here's the deal, guys. He's got a, uh, he's got a, a polished nickel, uh, or, or stainless uh, tub spout, and I just don't have one. I don't stock that shit. I stock chrome, slip fit. Uh, I think he's got the type that screws on an iron pipe uh, spout, which will be good. There'll be enough copper on that for me to throw this slip fit spout on. Uh, I just need to get some sand cloth. James Brown's going to be giving me shit about how dirty my truck is. I see you giving ba -ba -la -ba -la. I'm giving you a shout out, James Brown. I feel good. Yeah. Alright, man. Let's roll. Wow, check this out, man. This guy's wife is uh Asian. Beautiful woman. But you can definitely see the Asian touch. On their landscaping, the bamboo, and just the way this house is put together definitely has her touch. So, uh, I cannot see a main shut off valve, so I'm just going to turn the meter off to this house. Here's the meter, maybe two of them in that box. I'm going to turn theirs off. to do these cartridges to get three cartridges to change out and one lavatory and then a spout on the other side of the house it needs to be changed it can't move the diverter My uh, my salesman at Gorman Company told me this morning that uh, what you gonna call it? Mowen is out is doing away with all of this stuff. The twelve twenty two twenty five twelve twenty two. The only rough bodies you're gonna be able to buy are the uh, every every valve is gonna have the same cartridge basically like Growy or. I think Cole has already done that, but Mullen's following with them. But that's not gonna, you know, there's still millions upon millions of these things out here. So we're gonna have to service them. The worst thing about these is if you don't use them, they freeze up. That's, that's the big gripe about them. <sighs> This is a good clip to use because it actually hangs on to it, especially the ones with the holes, so you don't drop it down the wall. So I've I've found over the years that uh, not trying to spin these actually works better. Some guys, they say, yeah, you got to spin it a few times. And I've found that just pulling it straight out 
is the simplest way and you don't get the buckling of the uh, of the gaskets so to the wise don't buy that cheap stuff on, on uh, Amazon that shit will come back to haunt you So I can see that this valve body is very clean. The, the gaskets that came out. And uh, so I'm just gonna stick this guy back in, making sure the H and the C are up at the top. And it just slid in. I can tell that it's not an issue. Go ahead and put this back in. are very tight and if that thing's not seated all the way back it isn't going to go down so Unfortunately, my eyes aren't real issue, guys, so get with me. It's in all the way. All right. So on this one, the notch, the notch right there, it needs to be down. Okay. So this water is not going to run when I come back, when I turn the water on. Alright guys, so this, I can't even lift that. And it appears like it's threaded on.
little funky on that back side. I think what that was was the uh whatchamacallit. Wow, look how hard that is. These valves are set pretty deep in the wall, so I gotta take the face plate off of them to get the uh wow. That looks really like they cut that tile really, really close around that valve. We'll see. Usually a little weep hole in the bottom. Okay. Wow. You want to make sure that you check the valve, the cartridge orientation on the on the one that's in there. Make sure the H and the C is at the top. If it's not, that's going to tell you that the pipes are crossed. So it's always good to look at that. A lot of times I forget too, but you'd be surprised how many. How many uh, times I've come across a, a crossed water on a cartridge when they know they can flip it, they will. So this place is going to be fairly new, getting remodeled because these things are just coming out of the box. These are the ones that you drop these clips on, which I have plenty of these, but 
you don't want to get in the habit of losing them down the wall. <laughs> That's funny. The dog heisted my sponge, guys. It's not gonna hurt to throw a little grease on that. That's how I always do spouts. I get the wrench in and then I just pull it. That's all you need, guys. You don't need to go crazy with it. I'm gonna dab that in. And uh, I've got one more cartridge to change and then I'm gonna turn the water back on. Oh, I got I've also got to look at the, uh, what you call it? What the fuck? Gonna look at the cold cartridge on another valve. Oh yeah. This one's gonna be a little nasty. Uh, it uh when it was dripping, it was dripping onto the soap. So the whole shower, the floor is very slippery, and uh, this valve is just covered in soap and shit. deep in the in the wall and I will just tell you man when I when I rough a valve in I always they come with that little plastic plate if they tell me what's going on the wall I make sure it's gonna fall onto the back of that plastic plate so that gives me another half inch or five eighths of of additional thickness on the wall instead of like putting it exactly what they tell you, you're gonna end up using a lot of extension kits. Because the tile guys, they'll come in and they'll build the wall up, they'll do whatever they want, and they have no, 
it just really not a consideration as a plumber uh, so they tile it and uh, then you have to come in and put an extension kit on which is not good I can see that this is uh, PEX they have PEX adapters in the wall but so Wow, this floor is very slippery, man. Shit. Almost just busted my ass. Almost put a crack in my ass, man. But look at that shit. Not even striped, man. I don't get it. Overhead water pipe. Hey guys, so I just finished this cartridge in the shower. The battery died and my and my camera's full, so I had to delete a few things. But anyways, uh, I'm working on this faucet, which I thought was a mowing to match the rest of what's in this this bathroom. Uh, all the shower valves were mowing, but when I pulled this cartridge, it's obvious that it's not a mowing uh, cartridge. And it's probably just the O-ring that's leaking. Uh, so I put some Teflon on it and uh, put the O-ring back on top of it and squished it down in there. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try to figure out what brand this is and uh, get a cartridge for it. It's a plastic cartridge with a brass stem. I'm gonna turn the water back on now. All right, that might have been a situation where I thought I was paving and I wasn't. So. Make sure we get hot water coming out of this. Good pressure. No leaks on the cartridge itself. And it's getting warm, so that's good enough for me. Turn that one off. I'm gonna go. I don't know if you caught that on this. I, I don't know if the if the uh, camera was on or off. But anyways, this cartridge was leaking when it's in the on position, and uh, I put a new. I I just I don't have that cartridge. I'm not really sure the brand. So uh, what I did was I just Teflon behind the get the uh, the O ring that looked a little bad and uh, wrapped it real tight, put it back together and it appears to be working fine. So I don't see any water leaking when it's on, like he was saying. So I think we're good here. I just need to go check the rest of these uh, cartridges and then put it all back together.
spout I put in is working good. There's no water dripping behind it. The cartridge is good. It's not dripping. Just want to make sure. Yeah, and that's hot. So I know the cartridge is in the right position. Diverter is working. Okay, so this isn't dripping. We got hot water. And that's it. They weren't complaining about this diverter spout. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this stuff back together. We're all set here, guys. New tub spout, three cartridges, and a cartridge repair. So this is the last one I need to put together. And I would just say to the young guys out there, the more you do this, the better you'll get at finding the hole. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. So these anti skull this this thing is a two part this goes in like this and then if you want to limit the amount of hot water you turn this like that that'll limit the hot water coming in but I always on a new install or that's how they this is how they were that's the most hot water you're gonna get out of this valve and that's what I always set them at doing new houses A lot of people, most people have no idea they even have that. And they just, you know, turn, turn the hot water off when it's burning them. But, Why do I turn the valve on? To put the set screw in. It's pretty simple. But it's easy. That's why. I like to be able to see what I'm working on. Uh, not a big deal. Guys, you want to do good work, just get in the habit of caulking stuff when you're done. Makes for a better job, that's all.